You like my microphone? This is how it's supposed to be used. This is a good way to use this type of microphone. I mean, I guess it's not a bad way. It's not the best way. This is a reminder, mostly for me, but I feel like someone could probably get use out of this. Someone seeing this maybe needs to hear it. You don't need a reason to create things. If you're a creative, create something. I, like many creatives, get stuck in my head a lot. I often have ideas for scripts or skits or books or poems or whatever it might be, and I'd never make them because I get caught up on the, oh, you need a shot list or, oh, you need to pre-plan or, oh, you need to do this or need to do that before you actually start. No, I don't. No, you don't. In any creative endeavor that I am in charge of, I can do as little or as much as I want. I don't have to make a shot list if I don't want to. I don't have to make a storyboard if I don't want to. And I hate storyboards. I'm so bad at storyboards. How am I so bad? At I personally hate pre-production. I mean, if you love pre-production, good for you. I am not hating on you in any way, but I personally hate it. So why am I holding myself back doing something that I actually like doing with the barrier of something that I hate doing. What is the lot? If I want to make a shot list, I can, but I don't need to. If you want to make a shot list, if you love making shot lists, make a shot list. It's a, you don't even have to shoot it. I DP'd my first feature film ever without a shot list. I don't need a shot list to make a two minute skit that I want to, that I can film in my bedroom. I don't need a shot list. And I definitely don't need it to be the reason that I'm not making stuff. 90% of the time, the only person questioning how you're doing things is you. Stop it. Stop. Ah, stop. I'm here to remind me and whoever's watching this to create for yourself first. Ryan, what if it's bad? Oh, what if it's bad? Who cares? If it sucks, if you are that ashamed of what you have made, which I doubt you will be, you can throw it in your recycling bin on your computer and never speak of it again. But that's not the question we should be asking ourselves. The question we should be asking ourselves is, what if I love what I make? What if what I make right now is my next favorite thing that I've ever made? We gotta focus on what we can do and what we are capable of and what we'll learn if we just try, what if you make your next favorite thing? You'll never know if you let your ideas die before they even get time to grow. So go make something. That's what I'm doing now. And that's what I want to keep doing. Go make something.